sort of reaction then. And let's get some more too with uh, David Vance. He's a political commentator and also Azad Chawala. He's here too. He created the uh, website secondwife.com and actively promotes polygamy. Uh, good evening to you both. Um, David, let's start with you, if good we evening. may. Good evening. What do you make of this story, David? Because some may say, well, you know, you know, Muslim organisations in Italy calling for polygamy. We have to reflect the views, don't we, of a multicultural society. David. Well, Andrew, what I think is that at one level it's ludicrous insofar as in Italy this is a tiny minority. Uh, less than 2% of the population is Muslim. Less than, than that percentage would presumably support this call for polygamy. So, you know, there's absolutely no demand outside of this tiny uh, sect within Italy for polygamy. But, in, but at another level, it's also quite um, worrying because it does suggest that there are some within the Islamic community in Italy and perhaps beyond who, have no, who wish to actually impose their values on us. And polygamy is part of their values. It's certainly not part of our values. And the whole spurious comparison with same-sex civil partnerships is, is, is again um, uh, ludicrous because, of course, in Italy, there is majority community support for that. And uh, there is no such thing uh, in Italy or indeed, as far as I'm aware, Andrew, anywhere else in Europe, a, dem a, a majority uh, support for polygamy. So right. it's ludicrous and dangerous at the same time. OK, ludicrous and dangerous, that's what David said. Azad, you run a website, don't you, that promotes polygamy. What, what's your reaction to what David's just said there? Mine is quite the contrary. The, the thing is that when you're saying that them and us, who are you actually referring to? I, on the other hand, would, would bear witness that 90% of people practice polygamy anyway, regardless of there being a, uh, you know, a religious interference or uh, an ordinance regardless and um, because I actually run these two websites secondwife.com which you've mentioned which is specifically for Muslims uh, you forgot to mention I also run polygamy.com which is open to everybody and we have um, uh, well we're almost touching a hundred thousand users already so and, and a lot of them are d uh, from the UK or Europe but we do have some users if not thousands from Italy so David I mean and not necessarily to that. all of them are Muslims if you listen to that, it's not a question of faith, it's just a question of changing values in our society. That's it. It's well, not, you know, it, it um, was the right... Yeah, David, if, go if ahead. I can just answer that. It was, it, 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 was the, it was the writer G.K. Chesterton who once observed that before you take down a fence, you understand why it was put up in the first place. And therefore, Western liberals who have chosen to redefine marriage, historically one man, one woman, um, have, have in a sense uh, left this open for opportunists, uh, in this case this uh, Muslim activist in Italy, to try and push this uh, polygamy uh, agenda. But as I say, I don't believe there is any, uh, any kind of uh, demand for this outside that very small David, uh, David, 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 I'm going to interrupt you there. Italy. In terms of demand, D David, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be rude here, I'm just going to interrupt you okay. there because you said there's no demand. I reiterate, okay. I have 100,000 people that have signed up. These are 100,000 active users and that's literally in the past two months since the media has actually given me some attention. And this number's to um, going in the upwards direction. And in terms of um, it's, it's a person's choice. What has polygamy done yep. wrong to you? What has, I mean, because I, I could probably apologize on that behalf. Yes. What bad it, negative experience do you personally have with polygamy? Well, it's, 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 it's and who absolutely are you representing nothing to do when with my saying experience of polygamy. <laughs> sorry, let me, okay, you've asked a question, I'll answer your question. In the first instance, I don't have any experience Please. of polygamy, nor indeed, along with the vast okay. majority of other European people, do I? And the second instance, the thing that perhaps your website needs to take into consideration is polygamy is against the law across Europe. It's unlawful. So actually to practice polygamy is to practice a crime for which I presume there would be an offence. So I think you should be careful before you actually promote yeah. things in countries that are unlawful. That's how it works you see in Western democracies. And David, David you I must suppose obey the law. people would counter argue that and say well, look same-sex marriage was illegal for a long period of time but of course uh, exactly. Through democracy, you yeah. can campaign and get things changed, and this is presumably what these people yes. sort of advocating polygamy want. 
I, and I, David, I, I, it's already practiced right. here anyway. I, I, and that, and, and, and sorry, Andrew, you're absolutely right. People have a perfect right to campaign for whatever they want. However, I haven't seen any opinion poll in any European country at any time that suggests there is this latent demand for polygamous relationships. In fact, far from it. Across Europe, the traditional form of marriage, one man, one woman, still prevails. And unless that radically changes, then I think this is frankly Muslim activists whistling in the wind. Okay, and as that, just David, to change, just David, to change, I, sorry, go on, go on. Yes. I was going to say, I mean, if you have no personal experience, negative or positive, I think it's wrong of you to actually go in and tell somebody, impose your view or any of your beliefs view onto somebody else. Uh, we gave everybody a choice, well, especially you see, before this debate even comes, because Somebody even yeah. mentioned that this is maybe against women's rights. We have 55% women signing up. We gave women the choice and they, they kind of, with yeah. their signups, proved that they want this. So um, I don't know who, who you're representing, is, who you're speaking about, who is, dislikes it. I, 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 and I suggest I'm sorry, speaking I'm just gonna say as one many more people, thing. As, 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 as many people as you are. No, you, no, you've said enough, let me come back. I, I believe I, I'm probably okay, speaking on. on behalf of a lot more people than you because I'm representing what constitutes the law across Europe. That's the first thing. And in the second instance, David, you know, I'm not breaking the, the law. A lot of people, a lot of people say, you, you, you're interrupting me. The, the, a lot of people would see this as actually just a manifestation to. of something that concerns us more deeply, which is creeping Sharia. You know, what do we get? Polygamy. What oh, do we get next? David, a little bit of David, female David. genital mutilation. Where does it end? You, I'm afraid David, Sharia female and polygamy. Gen listen, Asad, listen, Asad, David, let me ask you a question. Asad, I need to ask you a question. The majority of it is practiced in Christian countries. Let's not make an Islam and versus Christian thing. Let's keep it in the West. It's unlawful. And like I said, I gave people a choice it's and they took it. It's, it's not unlawful. Is it unlawful to have a, uh, a mistress? It is. It's is against it the law. Is it unlawful to visit a prostitute? It's not. There's billions of people doing it. Is that, is, is, is the thing is what I'm giving you. I'm giving point, sorry. Is that, I'd like to ask you a question is, now. I mean, one thing that people do say is that sure. if there's a, a dominant faith or a, a dominant sort of value-based yeah. system in a country, those that come to live in this country should abide by those rules. Yeah. And there seems to be a divide yes. here that, I mean, what do you say to that? Because I, well, in your opinion, that that's what people should do, isn't it, when no, they come there, to living countries? There's definitely an issue sure. of respecting the law of the land, right? But what about a person like me? I'm not somebody who actually has come from somewhere to actually live here, and neither has this gentleman who has actually instigated the initial debate. The issue here is that we live in a free world where we give people a choice. And the option that I offer in terms of polygamy is the most decent option to have um, to raise multiple families. We are, we are you trying to say people don't have affairs? Because 50% of all marriages, this institute that we talk of, that actually you're saying that most people actually practice in, the, in, in Europe, it's failing 50% 50, uh, 50 of the time. And it's failing because people are going outside of marriages and having relationships. And I'm just saying, let's have a way to regulate it. And in terms of um, its legality, I'm not... Uh, pushing legal marriages. I'm saying have them in the church, have them in the synagogue, have them in the mosque. Uh, have it in your community. As long as your community recognizes that union, <laughs> that should be acceptable. But I'm saying men Andrew, should man what? up uh, in terms of their uh, offering Andrew. women their rights. Yeah, David, go on. Just quickly respond to that and I'll ask you another yeah, question, yeah. David. Yeah, well, 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 well you know, the, the point is, if you, you know, if people live in, in Western liberal democracies, they must respect the laws in Western liberal democracies. Polygamy is against the law right across these lands. And it's time that people like Assad and others let's change showed it. a little David, respect let's change the law. for the countries you said that they liberal, live. We live in a liberal country, right? And There's I no have demand a right to impose, not on you, but on myself at least, polygamy. And I give everybody a free choice. Okay. So we live in a liberal country, Assad, let the people decide. Let me ask you this question, Assad. Yes. We've seen quite a response sure. um, from Italian politicians quite aggressive response to this story. Are you yeah. surprised by that? Does that yeah. reflect perhaps just growing tensions in our society between different cultures? Because perhaps a few years ago, this story had come no. out, maybe we wouldn't be so critical of it. It does. 
No, no, I think I uh, polygamy in itself is, sens uh, is a sensitive to uh, topic and has been a taboo in our general Western society. But this David, he's just basically, he's, he's, he's just Muslim bashing. And I think that's an old thing and you need to stop doing that. No, I'm not. Yeah. If no, you want to have not. a proper debate on polygamy, just talk no, no. to me about polygamy. Okay, all right. Like, okay, well, we have Islam talked about polygamy for, nobody <laughs> said everybody needs to convert <laughs> for about the last Islam. five or ten minutes. Um, David, let's come back to you. Just respond to that. We yeah, were talking thanks. about tensions in society yeah, I mean, between cultures. Cheap blows, yes. David, cheap blows. And, and I think actually, uh, uh, Andrew, uh, I said, if you could be quiet while I'm talking, please. Uh, Andrew, this is the fundamental sure. point that you're making. I believe that by calling for polygamy and trying to introduce this kind of Islamic uh, life style into our cultures does cause David, considerable David, resentment. David, please, I'm going to interrupt leave, you now because you're associating again, Islam stop with the polygamy. Interruptions, right? stop Let's the keep interruptions. polygamy as polygamy. Sorry, stop the interruptions. Got to stop the interruptions. That's how it works, Assad, in, in a democracy. I speak and you I'm speak. Sorry because you don't speak over me all the time. I'm trying to suggest to you, if you would listen, that in our Western uh, democracies, um, and in Italy in particular, the, the, you know, this is a Roman Catholic country. This is a Christian country. You don't get to impose a, a, a set of values which is completely against what they believe and expect harmony to break out. And in fact, what this does, David, it, causes, it does cause unrest, David, in this Roman It's very disturbing. This and I think it's society. provocation. It's provocation by a particularly militant Islamist in the case of the activist who who, who, okay, um, David, uh, there who, you go. You're Muslim bashing again. Website, Seriously, cheap and it needs blows. To be called I will out interrupt you because in Sorry Christianity, polygamy is allowed. At no point in the Bible or anywhere it's does not it allowed. actually condemn I'm polygamy sorry. specifically. It doesn't. It is. The, 33 the percent is not of higher. Marriage Almost is one half of all, man, one all woman. Uh, prophets mentioned in the Bible have practiced polygamy. If you want to tell me that David, Job, um, uh, Jacob, uh, Solomon. Perhaps you need. Uh, uh, perhaps you need to re uh, reacquaint yourself didn't with the Bible. It, then you tell me if those are not the pra uh, prophets of of. Um, Okay, of Christianity. Is that, so I just want they, to, I just was, want to move this on slightly. Well, I mean, slightly. if we're going to yeah. talk about Christianity, let's no. move this on slightly. Christ, let's just one, move this on father. slightly because I have to wrap up soon. <laughs> but we we touched so, on tensions in society. I'd like to give you two examples. In France, yeah. a bikini pool party had to be banned. This is to you, Assad, because yeah. the organisers yeah. received yeah. a lot of hate mail uh, and essentially threats, and they had to ban it because of it. Um, What's your reaction yeah. to that, Why? Assad, when, when, when something like that happens? Everybody, if somebody Quite wants right. to have a, a bikini clad um, a party in my Europe, then you know what? We live in a liberal free world. Let them have it. Whoever's got a, an issue, let them turn their face. You know, but you can't do it. You can't kind of well, impeach in my personal space. No. But beyond that, do whatever you want to do. No. David, you know what I mean? we should, uh, essentially what Assad's I'm saying a, is Andrew, we should be more this, tolerant. Yes, yeah, well, be more I think tolerant, we saw David. Tolerance Stop the, bashing Muslims. I th I, I think it's we, all the news. I thought. I think we. I think we've seen plenty of uh, what tolerance can lead to on the promenade in Nice. And is it any surprise that after all the massacres that have taken place in France, that French politicians would see that this kind of burkini party is totally inappropriate? Of course it's not. And it's on the, it, it really, the responsibility here lies fairly and squarely with those, mil, those Muslims who are overtly seeking to cause strife and disquiet by him trying to impose David, nobody's a totally causing, different uh, remind, Let me remind you, polygamy.com, 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 it's open to polygamy, everybody and I've got thousands if, if of people signing polygamy, up to it. It's open to all faiths. Wish, if you wish polygamy, live in a country that accepts it. The West doesn't. You're in the wrong country Britain if you want, it. Uh, okay. if you want David, polygamy. Even you practice Western polygamy. Is I not can for prove you. it. You've made the wrong choice. 90% okay. of all Assad. people in you the West can Assad. prove it. We've got, we've got about it. a minute left, yes. Assad. I'll just give you the last 30 sure. seconds. Oh, dear. Sure. I'm saying, David, everybody practices it. 90% of all people practice it, except everybody's no, going around the no. wrong way. All I'm saying is no, it's regulated, and it's got Rubbish. nothing to do with Islam. Nothing. You know what? I actually originally no thought maybe I was mistaken. I thought maybe it's a Muslim practice, but isn't. Every, it's open to everybody. I've got thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of Christians okay. on this website. All right. You and David, what? David, That's the last word to you. Not wanted in Europe.
Yeah, it's banned in Europe. It's not one Europe. Thousands in Europe. If people really Thousands. want it. Go to countries that go to Click countries that practice it, which are not to be found in Europe, but across the Islamic world. What a coincidence! I okay, rest my case. John. We have breaking news. Islam will dominate. Islam will dominate. A month doesn't go by without a terrorist attack. What is going on in this country? Because I no longer understand the rules. Aiming towards the building. Because you're not allowing a conversation to admit that we have a problem. Right, this man received death threats, and we have all looked the other way. Jihad is a holy war declared against the infidel. The more you know, the more you would be afraid. Let me say the question slowly so then mm -hmm. you will understand it. You will be told you can't complain because you're Islamophobic. Political correctness. We don't want to offend anybody. America, last time I checked, was the home of the brave. These movements that have been fueled by petrodollars that dominate the leadership. British police has started to enforce Sharia law. So you're threatening to come and get me, is that what you're saying? What is the penalty I mean, for apostasy? Why need an answer that question? Answer one question.